Okay. Before we can get into the real nitty-gritty um, concepts of pre-algebra, we really need to understand positive and negative numbers. And so I want to take a look at combining integers. So this video will deal with that. And when I say combining, I'm only talking about adding and subtracting. Okay, so when I say that we're going to combine, um, I'm going to actually deal with only adding and subtracting, and I'm going to use the number line. Now we can talk about uh, multiplication on the number line, but the number line lends itself a little bit more um, um, easily to just adding and subtracting. So in order to take a look at some really easy uh, simplification of some integers, I just want to start with 3 plus 5. Now, I'm going to make this very visual, and I'm going to show you exactly what's happening. We are going to take uh, three spaces. Now, those are positive, so I'm going to go in the positive direction. So I'm going to take a, a value of 3, so I'm going to go over here to 3. So there's my 3. Now, I'm going to combine that, this means combine, with 5, and the 5 happens to also be positive. So that means I'm going to continue to go in the positive direction. So I'm going to go 5 more. Well, obviously, we know that that answer ends up giving us 8. Okay, so the answer to that is 8. But there's the picture of what has really been happening. Okay, I start at 0, I, add, I go in the positive direction 3, and then I pick up where I left off and continue in the positive direction 5 more spaces. So let's see visually how that looks when we take... 3 and add it to negative 5. So I'm going to go to my 3, and as before, I'm going to pick up where I left off, but this is a negative 5, which means I must go to the left. This positive means combine. So I'm going to say, now I'm going to go backwards 5 spaces. Well, if I go backwards 5 spaces, then I land at negative 2, and my answer to 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. All right, let's take a look at a couple more. This time I'm going to start in the negative direction. It still means a negative three spaces. But I'm going to pick up where I left off because that's plus, which means combine it with, picking up where I left off, a positive five. So I'm going to go in the positive direction, five spaces. And that, of course, gives me a result of a positive two. Okay, the positive 5 was enough to bring me out of the negative side and bring me into the positive side. All right, let's look again at going to the negative direction twice. So I have negative 3 combined with a negative 5. I'm going to continue going negative 5, but it's 5, excuse me, in the negative direction, but it's 5 spaces, and I'm going to get going to get a negative 8. Okay? All right. So let's continue. I don't want to belabor the point, but let's continue and let's try it without the number line. So just kind of roughly, if I go 5 and then I back up 9, then of course I'm going to be at negative 4. If I go negative 10 and another negative, that's way down here, and another negative 5, I'll be at negative 15. So now at this point, now we know what we we know what to picture in our mind, and a lot of times, right, the picture is worth a thousand words. So I'm going to go to negative 10, and then I'm going to back up only nine. Now this time I want to show you actually. There's me going to negative 10, and I'm going to back up only nine spaces, and I'm going to land at negative one. So the answer to 9 plus negative 10 is negative 1. All right, let's quickly move through these, and that's going to be a negative 7. This is going to be, obviously, 13. And this is going to be go to the negative direction, 12, but back up 9 is going to give me a negative, still a negative 3. All right, I want to move into the more difficult kind, and I want to make a, a point about when we have a subtraction sign. What do we do? Well, let me first say that this really probably should say um, integers. But 
I, I think that originally when I made this, I, I remembered that fractions are coming quickly. And so that's why I said, hey, rational numbers, right? When working with integers or when you move into the fractions, which is all in the rational realm, um, always, always, always fix the subtraction sign. Well, you, you may be saying, well, what in the world do you mean by fix the subtraction sign? Well, let me show you what I mean. If you look up in a math dictionary or something like that, uh, what subtraction means, you'll see somewhere in there that says add the opposite. So when I see a subtraction sign, now I'm not saying a negative, I'm saying subtraction. So when I look at fives minus eight, there's a subtraction sign. Subtraction means add the opposite. I said two words, add the opposite, and I am going to make two marks with my pencil. So when I say fix the subtraction signs, I mean make two marks with your pencil and fix it so that it now has a plus between the two numbers. Okay, now I didn't say anything about whether it was negative or positive. I'm trying to make a plus between the two numbers. Well, in making a plus, I automatically have to change the next sign. There we go. Add and then make this the opposite. So again, I fixed it. How many marks did my pencil make? Two marks. So when you're fixing subtraction signs, you're always going to make two marks with your pencil. So let's do this. There's a subtraction. Add the opposite. Now, this is exactly like we had on the last problems. Go to three, combine it, because there's a plus. Plus, we can use the number line to combine only if there's a plus between the two numbers. So that's why I say always, always, always fix the subtraction. So that's going to be two. All right, let's take another one. Nine plus negative 11. So that's going to be up nine, back 11. Guess what? You're right. We're going to be in the negative department, right? Um, that's what, negative two? Okay, again, plus negative. Now I'm going to go through this whole page that I made up, and I'm going to fix all of the expressions. Now, I want you to look at this right here. Is that a minus, is that, excuse me, a minus between two numbers? No, it's not a minus, it's not a subtraction. Here's the minus or the subtraction. So I'm going to add the opposite on the next one. Add the opposite. Watch this. Add the opposite. So I never go back before the minus sign. I always go forward to the right. Add the opposite. Add the opposite and add the opposite. Okay, so all we're really doing is we're just doing, we're applying the definition of subtraction. So what's this one going to be? Let's do it visually first, get you in the swing of things. That's a positive six. I'm going to pick up where I left off because I have a plus there, and I'm going to combine that with a negative 14, and that gives me a negative eight. Okay, this is going to be negative 13, this is going to be negative 15, this is going to be a negative 5. Work that one yourself if you're unsure and convince yourself. Take the time to convince yourself that's true. All right, now this one, we have to go negative 24. Now, excuse me, we go positive 13 and then all the way back to uh, back negative 24 spaces, not two negative 24, but negative negative 24 spaces. And that gives us, what, a negative 11? And that gives us a negative 4. All right, last one. Now, on this one, what I've done is I've just made sure to uh, mix them up. So let's go through and um, let's see if you can say before I say which ones need to be fixed. Okay, all right, yes, this one needs to be fixed. What's the next one that needs to be fixed? Correct, that one needs to be fixed. How about the third one? You're right, it does not need to be fixed, only when we see a subtraction. Okay, there's that one. The next one that needs to be fixed is the four minus a negative nine. There's one that needs to be fixed, another one. Okay, last couple, the last one actually, this one needs to be fixed. So as you can see, and I'm not going to take any more time, but as you can see, 
in order to combine integers or fractions later and, and when we're talking about rational numbers. We need to, it's, it's easier, I think, to fix the subtraction signs and then think about combining on a number line. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.